Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore SAM2, which is an acronym for Segment Anything Model, which is a foundation model uh, towards solving promptable visual segmentation, as you can see it here on the screen you know, on the GitHub repository. Uh, Meta has, you know, unveiled this model recently, and it's a revolutionary advancement when it comes to object segmentation. So, earlier Meta released SAM, and now they have SAM2, which integrates real-time promptable object segmentation. Now, you can prompt, you know, to segment some objects, you know, in images and videos, enhancing the accuracy and speed. Its ability to operate across previously unseen visual domains holds significant promise for various fields, from creating, uh, you know, video editing to scientific research and whatnot. Right. Now we're gonna not only look at uh, SAM2 theoretically, but we're gonna, uh, you know, use this on a GPU machine. The key features, you know, that they also explain if you come down. And they have a research paper on this. You can read that. You know, they also have shown how you can use it. Now, my plan is to show you how you can use it on a GPU. Okay, and I'm gonna use RunPower to basically spin up a GPU and then show you how you can do it. Some of the key features are a unified segmentation. So for image and video, it's unified. Uh, you know, segments both static images and dynamic videos. Zero sort generalization. It means even if it hasn't seen anything, you know, it can uh you know perform really well on unseen visual content without custom adaptations that's fantastic real-time processing 44 frames per second guys that's what it says you know uh, on the on the leader uh, on the benchmarks and all now i'm gonna show you how you can do it on uh run pod but you can use any other cloud you can see i'm here on run pod i have a bit of credits left so i'm gonna leverage that credit i'm going to use h100 nvl over here can see this is the gpu that i'm going to use it gives me 94 gb of vram which is video random access memory has 180 gb of ram and 16 cpus and it's going to charge you know it's going to cost me around 3.14 dollar per hour you know so what i'm going to do now is select my gpu configuration i'm, I'm selecting h100 nvl but you can select any other gpu depending on you know like whatever suits your vram requirement now I'm going to keep everything as default setting and I'm just going to uh, click on deploy on demand. It's going to take a few seconds to deploy this on this cloud. You can use Lambda Labs, Paper Space, Vast AI, SageMaker, Vertex AI, Azure ML, whatever. Depending on what machine or hyperscalers you are using, feel free to use any GPUs that you have. Now, once this button is enabled, that's called connect, you have to click on that connect and then we're gonna open Jupyter Lab that runs on port 8888. And now you can see we have uh, something called connect which is enabled and it's, so it's running now. So let's click on connect and it shows connect to Jupyter Lab which is port 8888. If you want to do it locally, I have shown this in previous video that how, you, and I have shown Llama 3.1405b model how you can you know use it locally within docker container and route it through this run pod uh you know uh, the machine that you are running if you want to do it that you have to then do basic ssh terminal and so on and so forth i'm going to click on connect to jupyter lab so let's click on that and once i clicked on that it's going to open a lab you know within the environment and this is a CUDA enabled notebook that you can access over here. You know, so let's let's have a look. So for that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first do a few things here. In the setting, you can first make this a dark theme. So you can see I'm I feel more comfortable in dark. You can also do uh, increase code font size. So let's increase up a bit, and this is fine. And now what I'm gonna do is open a notebook rename this as sam2 and then let's click on rename and now here i'm gonna first do a git clone thingy so let's do a git clone you know for this repository here so that's what i'm gonna do so let's just copy come here and then just do git clone so i'm just doing git clone 
and this will clone this repository right now uh, when I'm doing git clone HTTPS github Facebook research segment you also probably do not need dot git also it's fine you can see now it says says cloning into segment anything too it will create created a folder over here you can see it has created this folder and it's taking a bit of time meanwhile I'll make this font size a bit bigger let me just do that it's gonna take a bit of time guys because you know it's kind of the lot of files in the repository so you know it takes time as you can see it says receiving objects and now it is done now when that is done what you're gonna do is let me first show you this you can see all of these files over here right and you know, folders files and you have to go notebooks checkpoints blah 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 let me go back to workspace and then come here and we have to now cd into it let's change the directory so what i'm going to do is cd segment and the name of that folder anything too and even you can do a working directory you can see we are in segment anything too now the next thing is we're going to do a pip install thingy right because we have to install everything which is there in the requirements txt and when you do dot it means that use the requirement file within the folder i am in currently so let me just run this now all right guys as you can see everything has been installed here now after installation i already ran a couple of commands because it anyway it's going to take some time for model to download so what i did i went inside checkpoints so there is a folder called checkpoints now if you go inside checkpoints you will find out a file which is a script that you see within the checkpoint something is wrong it's not it's hanging but yeah you, you see what i'm doing now inside checkpoints i'm going to use download checkpoints.sh file i'm running this file and it downloads the model so you can see tiny.pt small.pt all the files you know uh, base plu large pt right so you can see the large model as well you know everything has been downloaded all checkpoints are downloaded successfully so i have downloaded everything that i need now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some image processing library because we're going to use you're going to basically do image processing here so i'm going to do pip install open cv and then i'm going to use headless open cv here so OpenCV hyphen Python hyphen headless. Let's run this. Now I'm gonna run this. After you install OpenCV Python, what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, look at the present working directory, and you can see we are currently within checkpoint. So we have to come out of checkpoint in the segment anything to folder. So we just did a chain directory, came back to segment anything, and then we have to import everything uh, that we need. So we're gonna use torch, numpy matplotlib pillow sam2 files that we need and what i'm doing i'm defining the file path so as you know that we have stored our files model uh, weights in the checkpoints and then i'm using the checkpoint which is within the checkpoint i don't know why it's not opening but there's something wrong and then in model config there's a yaml file that we have in the image i have a brain.jpg so if you look at this is the image i am using you know just for your you know reference you can use any other image you know this is a brain tumor uh, image that you see um, a ct scan of brain tumor in the radiology segmentation has good use cases when it comes to brain tumor segmentations lung nodule segmentations you know sclerosis you know liver segmentations cardiac structures and so on and so forth so healthcare is a fantastic uh, you know industry for using sam tools to solve complex radiology problems or assist radiologists now here I'm just giving the image path. I'm opening the image and converting that into array over here. So you can see it's a numerical representation of your image. And that's what we are doing. Now I'm initializing the predictor using build SM to, uh, SAM2. And then I am processing the image to produce the embeddings of that image and defining the input input point prompt X and Y and label one for foreground. That's what I'm doing here. Then it performs the prediction using inference mode uh, function of torch. And then it sort mask by scores and display the results as you can see it over here you can see it over here and the next thing is guys you can also do if you come here let me just uh, let me just go back you know on this repository now if you if you look at this repository they have given like all the explanations you know that you need to uh, run this you can find it out over here I took most of the code from here and 
one thing that I wanted to cover as well. Uh, let me meanwhile let me change this first. Let's try with the other image. The other image is lung nodules. You can also look at this image predictor example. SAM2 also supports automatic mask generation on images just like SAM. So if you open this notebook, right, let me open that notebook. Here they show about, and they have three different things over here. You can see, let me just expand that. They have given you some sample notebooks that you can run. You can see videos, automatic mask generator, video predictor example, and image predictor example. You can see, you can see it over here for this is a lung nodules example that we've been using it but you can try it out with different images as well there's something wrong with the notebooks i don't know why it's not loading but yeah you can also follow up these notebooks automatic mask generator image predictor example and video predictor example i will also give my notebook so you can also have a look you know how to run this how to set this up and you know how to set this up and how you can run this as well now we used an h100 nvl to basically download all the model weights and run it if you and i'll give this notebook on my github repository so if you have any question thoughts feedbacks do let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information in channel banner and channel about us if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one